can, can I, can I, um, I, I think, is there, is, is there another, so we need, I'd need to get permissions for you, is, is there another time you can do this? Um, no, we say that because we've got an event on. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we're not, um, you know, we're not in a position to do return journeys very often. What is up guys, Skyview here and today we took a trip to Mercedes which is right next door to the infamous Kia from one of our previous videos. We are making a return journey there soon so please keep your eyes out for that. I just want to take a minute to thank all our subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed please do so because you have no idea how much it helps the channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's up guys, Skyview here and today we have brought ourselves to Mercedes Benz dealership which is right next door to the uh, infamous Kia that we went last time. Now, this is a really nice building, very clean, some lovely cars here, and uh, got a nice electric charging point there. But yeah, this is uh, right next door to where we went in Kia. And I don't know if that's the entrance or the entrance is down here, but we'll have a look. We know there's some sort of event going on, so we won't disrupt that. It's nice to see all the cars part the same way, with the exception of this one. But some of these, I like the new style grills on Mercedes. They look very nice, don't you think? Oh yeah. And today we're here with a different friend, our boy Paul, who's come along for the journey today. Oh. And now we're just going to go in and let someone know what we're doing. And we'll see who we can talk to to let them know. Hello, mate. Yeah, not too bad. Um, listen, what we're, we're just letting you know what we're doing, just as a courtesy. We're going to walk around the outside. We're just going to take some footage. We've been doing the uh, industry videos for like Kia and uh, you know some of the other industry places over there. We make uh, videos about places. You know, like um, we're doing dealerships. We're doing all sorts. So we're going to go around the outside. We're going to take some footage, and then we're going to go off to the public area just out there. We're going to take a drone up. And we're going to get some aerial shots of the building. Here. Yeah, just here, yeah. I don't think we'll be allowed to do that. No, we, we are allowed to do that, yeah. Um, no, we, I'm saying, I don't think we'll be allowed to do that. Need, that will need to be checked with the drone. Because if the drone comes down... Yeah. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you fully insured? Yeah, fully yeah. insured. I've got well, public liability. I, I, I need, I, I, yeah, obviously, we need to speak to uh, managers. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You can let them know what the, we're doing. The problem we have as well yeah. is we have the big events day to day and for the next few yeah days. I mean that's why we're going to be not, well we're going to be on public we're not going to be here you know we're not going to be taking off from your land or anything we're going to be out on the uh, public area just out there the road right. so we're going to take off from there um, we're going to fly over we're going to be quite high so we're not going to be interfering with anything you guys are doing um, and we're just going to take some aerial footage what, of the what, site. What other permissions do you have that other than obviously ourselves? Um, well the drone in question is a sub 250 gram drone. Um, it's, yeah, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> um, basically if it's above 250 gram drone there's different flight rules. Um, under 250 grams you can fly pretty much anywhere that's not a flight restriction zone. Um, I've checked on the um, application that we use, Drone Assist, which is um, it's authorised by the CAA, the Civil Aviation Authority. Um, and this is a no, this is a complete free to fly zone. So the 249 gram drone falls below the 250, which means we can fly over this area without any additional permissions. Um, in terms of your land, obviously we're above your land, we're not on your land. So it's not a question of gaining permission from the landowner because the landowner doesn't own the airspace above. So why above. come in then if you, you don't know? Courtesy. Um, okay. We don't want people to sort of see a drone and go, oh, what's going on? We don't want people thinking we're up to no good. We don't want people thinking it's hostile in any way, yeah. you know. So we just come in as a courtesy um, yeah. out of sheer politeness just yeah. to let you know what we're doing. Can, can I, can I, um, I, I think... Is that again? Is there, is, is there another? So we need, I need to get permissions for you. Is, is there another time you can do this? Um, no, we say that because we've got an event on. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we're not. Um, you know, we're not in a position to do return journeys very often. Right. Um, so obviously, we'll, we will do it today. Like I say, I'm not going to interfere with your event in any way. We're going to be, like I say, off on public land. We're not going to be taken off from your land. Okay. Well, oh, okay. Um, so I mean, if this. Yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give you a bit of time. Yeah, that's not a problem. 
Yeah, no, I'm happy to work with you rather than against you. You yeah, know, yeah, it's not yeah. an issue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's just a courtesy, just yeah, yeah. coming in and letting okay. you know. So, yeah. all right, we'll just wait here then. Yeah. So, right, I've just spoke to the sales manager. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, mm -hmm. Or just say, obviously, like you said, you're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to be on public, yeah. On the public, on the road, or yeah, of course. whatever. Absolutely. So, as long as it's obviously not from the property or no, no. relation no. to its takeoff and landing or whatever. No, no, of course not. No, I mean, you know, obviously I always fly safe anyway. You know, I don't want to damage the drone any more than you guys want any cars damaged, you know. No, um, I don't so, know how apt drones are, but probably not as much. No, as not nearly as much. I mean, so, I, like I yeah. say, I have got insurance, you know, yeah, I'm covered for 12 million that. public yeah. liability, so yeah. okay. plenty. Yeah. Okay. But uh, thankfully, we've never had an issue, you yeah. know. Um, and we're not, like I say, we're not here to interfere or anything. We're just yeah. doing what we do. We, we make little documentaries um, yeah. on YouTube yeah, for yeah. Uh, business we do, do business and we've yeah, been yeah. focused on Loughborough for the past couple of months yeah um, and then we're obviously got a few further afield that we're going to soon yeah um, and we've done quite a few you know yeah I can give you I mean obviously depending on how how people react to us depends on how yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, we sort of react to them. it's just about you know no I mean you've been very polite and cordial sure and we're not you know like <laughs> we wouldn't want you to be standing it there and then taking it off. No, no, of course not. The, no, we wouldn't do that. We've no. got obviously got customers walk, walk, That'll take you to around. the YouTube channel, yeah. which okay. um, there's a, if you go on the contact section there, there's yeah. an email address. If anyone wants to contact us, you know, if, yeah, if you wanted to check yeah. out the footage for yourself, okay. you'll yeah. see the aerial and footage how, on there. how long roughly do you think you would be when you... Um, not long. Uh, not the drone's got a battery of about half an hour, so we'll yeah. probably be up and down in about 15, yeah. 20 minutes tops. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, we do appreciate it. And uh, obviously we'll get the footage up and yeah. we'll just we just talk at the end of the video when we do the aerial footage yeah. we just talk a bit about the site you know like what yeah what so we just find online interest, we, yeah if we view this we can view what we can view the footage yeah of course yeah unit, absolutely yeah it, it may be something that we may or may not yeah of course yeah you can well, you so. can see the footage of the unit I, I always keep copies of the raw footage as well the unedited footage because okay. I edit it in yeah, the video yeah, yeah. Um, I put a voiceover on yeah. and talk about it so I mean if if you guys like the footage, you wanted to see the footage, you, want, you know, it, it'll be there yeah. along with, you know, our initial videos and, you know, some of the body cam footage and things like that. We put it all together, yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Um, and then obviously if you want to get in touch and, you know, if you wanted copies of the videos or anything like that, I'm sure we can arrange it. All right. So, all right. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming in okay. to us no. first. Thanks. Always, anyway, always best to be, uh, you know, yeah. courteous. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks so for the time. What, what, are you, you're going to do it out? Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go out that way to where the road is out there. Yeah. Um, we'll probably move a little off to the left so we're yeah. away from your main entrance. Yeah. Um, down that section there between the two, two showrooms. Yeah. And then we'll take off from there and yeah. we'll just fly over, probably circle it, you know, maybe get the, uh, the Mercedes sign over there and, you know, yeah. bits like that. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll put it all together in a video, probably upload it within a week to two weeks. Okay. So, Lovely. all right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. Happy. So, it's an interesting situation for us, this, because literally next door, we've got the Kia showroom where we had seven people surround us and got a lot of trouble there for no reason. And yet we've come to Mercedes, which I would argue is a lot more expensive. Upper market. Upper class, yeah. It's, it's a much more, you'd want it to be more secure, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. And yet they've got, an entryway there which has got the you know workshops. that's the workshops and stuff all sealed off no way through you know so it's not a public area this would be a public area this out here where we're going to take off from would be a public area you know um however that guy was cordial he was polite yeah he had to check and you know i did have to tell him like you know we are basically going to do it but ultimately you know we did exactly what we said we'd do we asked the question, we got the consent, I suppose you'd call it, not that we needed it, but he kind of said, yeah, that's fine. And if he'd have come back and said, no, that's not fine, we would have explained the law to him and still done it in the most respectful way we could, you know? But ultimately, I think this is our takeoff spot, nothing above, fairly straightforward. So we will leave it there and let's get the, uh, the drone up. Mercedes-Benz has production facilities and dealerships in over 200 countries worldwide, 
and sells over 2 million cars annually. Recently, Mercedes-Benz has invested heavily in electric vehicles. They have plans to have an all-electric lineup by 2030. The most expensive car Mercedes-Benz ever produced was the Maybach Accelero. They produced the car in 2004 and sold it for $8 million, though they only made one. One of the fastest cars ever produced by Mercedes-Benz is the AMG GT Black Series, which can reach a top speed of 325 kilometers an hour. The first car ever produced under the Mercedes-Benz name was a 35 HP, released in 1901. It had a top speed of 55 kilometers an hour and boasted a four-cylinder engine, which people considered quite advanced for the time. Mercedes adopted the silver color when in 1934 at the Nürburgring, their aluminium body W25 race car had to be under 750 kilos to race, but it came in at 1 kilo over. The team manager decided to have the paint taken off, resulting in a sparkling silver racer that ended up winning. So that's it for Mercedes Benz. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please comment down below and let us know what you thought. And please, please keep subscribing because you have no idea, as I said before, how much it helps the channel to grow. With you guys, there's no telling what we can accomplish. Until next time, we've been Skyview.